Hi everyone, welcome back. It's so good to see you again. I'm going to read you a story today called Room on the Broom. I'm hoping that you're doing really well at home and don't forget staying home means being safe just for now. Room on the broom. Here's our witch. And look, she has a cat, just like me. This is Annie. Yeah, she keeps meowing <laughs> in the story. Here we go. This story is by Julia Donaldson. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Dill, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but the hat couldn't be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog? like me. Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but the bow couldn't be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I'm a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Oh dear, look, what's happening to our friends on the broom? Raining. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. Mm. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. <gasps> Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden from out of a pond leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on a fold on her cloak. I'm a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yeah. Yes, said the witch. So the frog jumped on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... Oh, the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar. That 
was scary and loud. Uh oh. <gasps> I am a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No! cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. <gasps> Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. Oh, that's enough to scare a dragon. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Phew. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's insides. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone. The bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, a shower for the frog. Oh, wow. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. And that's the end of today's story. I hope you're all staying well and you're at home and enjoying some stories from school and looking at all of the other videos from the teachers at school who are missing you so much. We'll see you very soon. Bye.